Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to make a string pad using Silent One. This pad is velocity sensitive, so softer notes will sound cleaner and harder notes will sound grittier. This is a really good pad to use for drum and bass tracks and EDM tracks. So of course first things first, we've got our Silent open, we'll go into menu, into preset, and then insert, so we'll have a completely blank synth to work with. We'll be using 3 out of the 4 oscillators for the main part, and we'll start with setting up oscillator A1. It'll be a saw wave with 6 voices. Panning will be central, stereo will be all the way up on 10, detune will be on about 3, phase will be on 0, and volume will be just over half. Also we'll drop the octave down to minus 1. Now we'll go over to A2 and it'll be the same thing, except the octave will be on 0 and the volume will be all the way up. So saw, 6 voices, pan middle, stereo 10, detune 3, phase 0, volume all the way up. And now we'll do the ADSR envelope. We'll put the attack up to about 3. Have the decay on 0, sustain on full, then the release on about 7. You also want to make sure that these retrig buttons are off. We'll go over to Polyphony and change it to about 6, just so you have a bit more room to work with. And now we'll go down to the filter and make sure input select is on A, select to low pass, have the cut off at about 1.5, and then have the resonance and drive on 0.5 each. Now go to the filter control and have the cutoff about 3.8. Have the resonance on 0 and key track on 10. Now go over to MISC 1, select velocity as our source, and then have cutoff B. This is what will make the change that I mentioned earlier in that the softer notes will sound smoother and the harder notes will sound grittier. And now move over onto part B. Now we're using B1, so again saw wave and six voices. The pan in the center, stereo on 10, have the detune on about 4 this time, phase on 0 and volume just above halfway, and increase the octave by 1. And also turn retrig off again. Now on the ADSR envelope, both the attack and decay will be on 0, sustain will be on 7, and release on about 5. For the filter, again we want a low pass and so make sure input select is on B. We'll also change this to 12 decibels instead. We'll have the cutoff about 3.6. The resonance just over 1, and same for the drive. We'll also put on a couple of effects, so we'll start with EQ, so we'll turn that on and select it. We'll turn bass right the way down, turn treble to about 10 decibels, and move the frequency to about 850. A little bit of reverb would be quite nice as well, so we'll turn that on. Turn the pre-delay right down as well as the damp, reduce size to about 5 and have the width on 100% and dry wet on 50. And now we just mix the volumes over here. We'll leave mix A on five and turn mix B up to about six and a half. And we'll also turn the main volume up a bit as well to about seven or so. So that's the main part of the synth. So this is what it now sounds like. Now if you want to add or change anything, I recommend playing with the filter control and adding another oscillator. As you can hear, there's quite a lot of added bass from oscillator 1 playing the notes that are an octave lower, so you can either change that so it's playing a different octave, or play with the filter over here. So if you turn the cutoff down, it reduces some of the bass. You can also move the resonance in the key track. The key track will take away some of the harshness and the resonance will add it. For adding another sound wave, it depends what you want it to sound like. If you want your pad to sound smoother and cleaner, add a sine wave and use three to eight voices and then match it with similar parameters to this. If you want it to sound a bit more distorted, use a triangle or a saw wave. To make the synth sound a bit more string-like, you can increase the attack and sustain on part B on the ADSR envelope to make it fade in a bit more. I'd really recommend playing around with a lot of the parameters on here to both get the sound that's more suitable for your track and to develop an understanding of what each control does. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers.